There can be a number of reasons why you might want to change up your VTuber model a bit. You might want to follow a new fashion trend. There might be a cute new season specific trend going around. Or alternatively, the largest war in Europe for 80 years might start out of nowhere. You see, when you decide that when you want to be a fun, different kind of VTuber, you might get the fantastic idea of deciding to be a fighter jet. Won't that be fun? You've never seen anything like it. And it would be a great way to get your name out there. Did you see the new VTuber that's literally just a fighter jet? They will say that and you will be popular. And when you decide to turn yourself into a fighter jet VTuber, an important choice will be what fighter jet you want to be. I picked my absolute favourite, the Su-27 Flanker, a Soviet fighter jet developed in the mid-1980s. By doing this, you will attract military enthusiast fans from all over the world. All you need is for a massive war not to start, so they don't get into the biggest argument ever. And what would be even worse than that, is if the fighter jet you're based on suddenly appears front and centre, used on both sides. And what would be even worse than that would be if a particular element of your design mimics the country using this aircraft with an ideology you powerfully disagree with. If this happens, remain calm. Reach out politely to any artists you know who might be willing to work with you on an emergency commission to change your model a little bit. Artists can be very accommodating when you say that you need a quick redesign because a war started. And there you have it. You've made it clear what side you're on over the whole issue. Some people might get really mad at you about it, but that's okay, I think. For all of you new VTubers out there, don't forget that when you're designing your model, you might need to take into account the possibility of an international conflict, or else you might end up like me needing an emergency paint job.